A structured gel overlay is a reinforced application of gel on natural nails. Because the application is a bit thicker than just brushing on gel over the nails, like in a gel polish application, it allows your gel nails to last three to six weeks and allows you to grow out your very own natural nails. Applying a structured gel overlay requires a bit of technique, patience, and practice. When you lack these, you end up with an unflattering thick gel nail application. In today's video, we'll be talking about five common mistakes gel nail stylists make with a structured gel overlay. Hey there and welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Paola at paolafonsenails.com and in this channel we talk soft gel and entrepreneurship in the nail industry. If this sounds like something you'd like to consider exploring, then at the end of this video, do consider subscribing. Real quick before we get started, I just finished creating a comparison chart among my favorite soft potted gel brands. If you want to see a detailed comparison of them, including how many sets does each gel yield for you so that you you can calculate your prices and your budget accordingly, then make sure you immediately sign up. You can press pause right now, go to the description box below and get that resource. I'll send it immediately into your inbox. All right, let's dive in. In a structured gel overlay application, you typically allow the product to flow and position itself right where it needs to go. We call this self-leveling. When your application in a structured gel overlay is self-leveled perfectly, the apex lies in the center, but a little closer to the cuticle area for shorter nails and the entire perimeter including sidewalls free edge and cuticle area are self level thin mistake number one applying the gel too thick natural nails that already have c curve will require less product than those natural nails which are flat most of your clients will have flat nails and this is in essence why we are adding a structured gel overlay application to give the nails volume and a slight pinch. The beautiful thing about soft potted gel nail formulas is that the gel itself naturally pinches the nails without you having to do anything extra. So remember, on C-curved nails, you are merely self-leveling gel while on flat nails, you are building structure. Mistake number two, working with an overloaded gel brush. An overloaded gel brush has gel on both sides size and feels difficult to work with. It feels like you're brushing on gel to the nail with a mop. This will cause you to apply the structured gel overlay too thick and make your application feel like a bulky fake nail and not like your own natural nails. Your structured gel overlay should not feel or wear like that. It should feel like and indeed like an enhancement of your very own natural nails. Even if you don't think you have pretty nails, a structured gel overlay gives you nearly an instant transformation and you'll probably love your own nails from henceforth. So the correct way to load up your brush is with product primarily on one side of the brush and more concentrated at the tip of that brush. Mistake number three, incorrect placement of the apex. When this mistake is made, the thickness of the gel is concentrated too thick at the cuticle area or too thick at the free edge. Having too much gel at the cuticle area and not at the free edge can cause lifting of your gel. For short nails, that may not be a problem, but if the nails are a bit longer, it can definitely make the nails look unbalanced again with some lifting at the free edge. Having too much gel at the free edge is worse however. Not only will the application look unbalanced but you will experience random lifting at the cuticle area because there is not enough gel to hold on to the nail when pressure is applied on the free edge on your day to day. Too much product concentrated at the free edge can also make the nails look too wide. Mistake number four, applying a thick application, no self-leveling. A structured gel overlay does not simply mean putting extra gel on the natural nails. You may think, oh, well, if adding more gel to the nails makes them last well for a very long time, then let's add more gel, right? The more the merrier. And if you do this without learning and focusing on your self-leveling, then you will end up with bumpy nails not properly structured and your client will eventually say something as she continues to see pictures of amazingly structured gel nails on the gram. Mistake number five, using an e-file to remove the old product in pieces. You cannot think that because you're going to self-level on the remaining gel that all will be well if you remove the product blotchy or in a patchy kind of way. Especially when working with self-leveling gel like Builder in a Bottle or Soft Builder gel which have a little bit more of a thinner viscosity, not super thin but they just flow a little bit more. These gels will flow into every nook and cranny making some areas of your self-leveling uneven, making things really frustrating for you. 
when removing the old product, do so in long, even strokes with your eval and make sure everything is buff flat before applying your structured gel overlay. Working with the right consistency of gel is key. I find that soft potted gel formulas like Japanese gel give us everything we are looking for without choosing from too many options. They are meant to self-level like a dream with finished filing being optional. Yes, you don't have to finish file your nails if they are self-leveled amazingly. For instance, as we talked about earlier, nails that already have strong C-curve merely need a generously thin reinforcement. You don't really need to file them into shape. For such nails with strong C-curve, Leaf Gel Sandy Free Plus, Cocoa's Platinum Bond Duo, or the Nail Thoughts Stinted Bases are a great overlay option. For nails that require more structured volume, you can also use the options we just mentioned, but I prefer a thin gel base layered followed by a structured application with a soak off builder gel like Cocoa's Excel, Leaf Gel Sculpting, or Vetro's Extension Gel. Let's recap the five mistakes. Number one, applying the gel too thick. Number two, working with an overloaded gel brush. Number three, incorrect placement of the apex. Number four, applying a thick application and no self-leveling. And number five, removing the old product in pieces with an e-file. I hope you learned tons in today's video. Drop your questions, comments, or concerns below. And if you know of a friend or two that would benefit from today's topic, please pass this video along. Make sure to check out the description box below for any free resources or current promo codes on my favorite brands. I'll see you in the next one and bye for now.